Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and in today's video I'm going to be sharing an update with you on the Travelling Bullet Journal. If you've been following me for a long time you may be aware of this project um, but for those that are new to my channel, um, back in 2016 I came up with the idea to send uh, this bullet journal around the world so that lots of different people could participate in it and complete two pages representing their kind of bullet journal style. So this started back in, gosh, so yes, September 2016. And so it's been all around the UK, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Germany, the Netherlands. It's done just over half, I think, now of America. See, so about to Spain, France, Italy, Cyprus, Croatia, and most recently, Australia. So it's a really exciting project. And the aim at the end of this is that once the full journal is completed, it will be auctioned for charity. And Ryder Carroll, the founder of the Bullet Journal, has agreed to complete the last pages in here. And I'm also going to be scanning in each of the pages. And once they're all done, I'm going to have that as a free ebook available um, over on my blog so that everybody can at least have a copy of it. I will link some of the previous videos because each time it's come back to me, I've completed a flip through here on YouTube and there's some really gorgeous pages in here. And one of the things that I just love is seeing everybody's different style, that there's no right or wrong way of completing a bullet journal. Lots of really artistic, but there's some more minimalist spreads in there, some with just the most gorgeous handwriting. And lots of people have also included a little bit about where they live and how they use their bullet journal, whether it's for personal, for work, exercise, or if um, it's somebody's study plans, if they're perhaps at college or university. So this last time it's taken a long time to come back to me. So these are the pages, the newest pages I'm going to share from November 2018. And these were completed by Trini at Log That Life on Instagram, and she's in Denmark. And I love how she's included another little kind of flap outside of the page. And she said that this spread is a hybrid between a monthly log, a gratitude log and a memory spread. And I really love how she did this. And you'll notice this is back from November 2018. It then went on to, and I might not get this pronounced correctly, Organizia Te Chaos, Organize the Chaos maybe, um, by Sarah in Germany. And she's done a monthly calendar here showing how she does hers, along with her master to-do list. It then went on to Marija from Bujo Planner in Croatia. And I love how she's included a little bit of collage here with some tickets along with her weekly plans and what I assume is a habit tracker here. It then went on to Lecturade 1994 Yolanda in Spain. And this was for April 2019 where she's put in a little calendar for the month, the events that she's got coming up told us a little bit about herself and some notes for things she wants to get done every day. And then in May 2019, it went to Beck, um, who is Journal Mama on Instagram in Australia. And she's included a little map here. And I love the mandala illustrations and the weekly plan and trackers. And then finally, before coming back to me, it went to Natalie, who's Urban Miss Planner 26 in Australia. And her writing is just insane. It's so beautiful and it's really small, so neat. And if you follow her on Instagram, you'll see she always has tons and tons of plans and it always just looks so incredible. Um, so it's been wonderful to get this journal back. So I've also stuck in here Marina, who is 
journal write think doodle on instagram he's from south africa she was a bit worried about the post but she still really wanted to contribute so she emailed me um, a scanned copy of her pages so i've stuck those in We've not got loads of pages left now, so it's soon going to be going back off on its travels. I just need to scan in those last pages, which I do every time it comes back to me, um, just in case the journal gets lost. And I've been trying to do it in the kind of most sensible way so that it doesn't have to travel too many air miles, but where people, um, some people have dropped out and I've had to slot other people in at a later date, it has travelled a bit further than I'd have hoped. Um, but so it's final journey now is going to go to Canada. I'm hoping I've messaged some participants there this morning who'd said that they were interested. And then these names here that are highlighted in blue are the last ones in America that are going to be um, taking part before this whole um, bullet journal is then finished. So I will leave um, a link to one of the previous Travelling Bullet Journal flip throughs if you want to see in more detail some of the other amazing pages that have been completed. And of course, once it's all done, I will let you know in case you want to go to the free printable section on my blog so that you can have um, a digital copy for yourself as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed hearing a bit about the Travelling Bullet Journal. If you've enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you'd leave it with a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you really soon in the next one.